So today, uh, we're going to talk about mappings and functions. Uh, before we talk about mappings, though, we got to talk about functions because some of you forgot about functions. Okay, so we're going to review a little bit. Uh, turns out, mapping and functions are really related. They're really similar. They're uh, really related to each other. So if you understand functions well, you should understand mappings well as well. Okay. If you're not good, then you're going to have trouble understanding mappings. All right, but it's not that hard. You guys remember functions? Before we talk about functions, do you guys remember what a relation is? Because, uh-oh, that's why we're reviewing. Okay, relation, if you remember, is it's really easy. The definition, guys, write this down. Any set of order pairs. Do you guys remember this? If you have any order, set of order some exa here's an example. If you have any set of order pairs, here. I just randomly chose some order pairs. Two, three, four, five, two, six. It's a relation. What? Yeah, so it is. <coughs> Write that down. So within this set of order pairs, um, what do we call all the um, x coordinates together? Set of all the x coordinates. Oh, Starts with D. Oh, okay, how? Domain. Okay, thank you for Why saying it out loud. Domain? Okay, it's called domain. You're right. Another name for domain? Uh, all this set of all the x's or in inputs. Okay, uh, in this book. They're going to call it a pre-range, pre-image, I mean, pre-range, pre-image. You see why it's called pre-image? Because, um, a little later. So this domain, all the x's or the, all the inputs. Because after you put in inputs, you get your output, right? Guess what that's called? Instead of pre-image, that's, that's the range. And another name for the range is? Output. Image or output. Are we going to have brackets? Range Yes, brace, you mean brace, right? OK, so by the way, how come for domain, I only wrote two numbers in there? Yeah, for domains, when you write things in set, right, as a set, you don't write it. If you have the same one, you don't write it twice, right? So even though we have two twos, we only write it once. So it makes sense why it's called pre-image, right? Your input, what you plug in, what comes out is your image, you know what I mean? So what was that image before it became image? It was a pre-image, right? That's a domain. So domain, another name for that is called pre-image. Range, your output, uh, is the uh, image. Okay. So write that down. So then what's a function? Well, a function, turns out, is a special type of relation. No. Just oh, like just like uh, convertibles, right? Convertibles are cars, right? Aren't they special type of cars? Yeah. So how is this function a special type of relation? So function is a relation. It is still set of auto pairs. How is this special? Well, you may remember, each input has Yes, Michelle? Yeah, so the way we say that, each input has exactly one output. Okay. There you go. So relation okay, is a special type of function. It's a relation, OK? I mean, function is a special type of relation where each input has exactly one output. Okay, that's a function. So this is important to understand. Okay. So write that down. So let me give you an example of a function. You ready? Here. Have you seen this before? A line? Okay, you see this line? I'm going to call it f of x. You guys remember like function notation? I remember right. Now. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Kind of coming back a little bit. Okay, now. Oh, gosh. Let me ask you this, guys. How come this is, first of all, we said it's a function, so it's got to be a relation. How does this line? Represent set of order pairs. I don't see any set of order pairs. I see a line. How is that a relation? Because we said the relation was set of order pairs, right? I don't. Okay. Jordan? A line is a line is consistent of points which are set of pairs. Exactly. Line is made up of a bunch of points, right? That are right next to each other. So a line is set of order pairs. Now why is this a why is this line a relation? Why is this a why is this a function then? So we just said function is a relation where each input has exactly one output. Who haven't I called? How about Kenneth? Oh, oh, um, each, like, each x coordinate has its own y coordinate. Yeah, look at every x coordinate. How many y coordinates does it have? For example, OK, let me tell you. This is the actual equation of this line, 2x plus 1. Like for x equals to 0, how many outputs does it have? Well, how many y? One. What is it? One, isn't it? Yes. Right. Does it does it have any other y? No. For that y of x? When x equals to one, 
How many outputs does it have? One. One, which is? Three. Three. Did you guys get that? Yeah. So, uh, do you guys remember? I don't know if you remember this. Yeah. If you have a graph, there's a test that you could oh. do. Okay, so that so that you know this is there's an easy way to figure out whether or not the graph is a function or not a function. Somebody said it already, but uh, Leo. Nope. It's the other one, Le Reagan. It's called vertical line test. So there's this. So there's this test called. Who remembers what a vertical line test was? Leo, do you remember what it was? Let's let's listen, huh? Exactly. This vertical line test shows us whether or not each input, which, which is x, has exactly one output. Because yep. you could draw a vertical line anywhere on this graph. If it has said more than once, guess what that means? It's not a function, not a function because it would have more than yeah. one output. For this line, how many can does this pass the vertical line test? Yes. Yeah, draw a vertical line anywhere. It'll only hit it exactly once. Oh, no. That means that is each input has exactly one output. You guys remember that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what a function is. Mm -hmm. So this is all review. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you some new things that you haven't maybe learned. What if you get like algebra? You will now. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is there's another. So you see a function is a special type of relation. Yeah? There's a special type of a function called mapping. Oh, before I get there, sorry. Here. Is this a function or not a function? Yeah. Parabola. Yeah. Parabola is a function. function because does it pass the vertical line test? Yes. Yes, yes it does. I remember Wait, but what, if, what, if the what about this horizontal line? Like this. No. Yeah. Okay, how many people say, okay, why don't you all think about this? Is this horizontal line a uh, function or not a function? Go ahead, everybody think about this. Oh, wait. What do you guys think? How many people say a horizontal line is a function, raise your hand? How many people say it's not a function? Okay, this is a function because horizontal line is a function. Look, does it pass the vertical line test? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it does. Look, draw any vertical lines on this horizontal line, graph of this horizontal line, it'll only hit it what? How many times? Once. Now, let me ask you this. What about for a vertical line? Is a vertical line a function? Of course not. Does it pass the vertical line test? No. How many times does it hit? Infinitely many times. You could put that vertical line right on top of the vertical line. So vertical line is not a function. Okay, guys, you ready? Okay, so what I was talking about is this. Now, within this function, there's a special type of a function called one-to-one -one function. Okay, so let me move this up. So you see how a function was a special type of relation? Now, within this uh, function, there's a special type of function called one-to-one -one function. Okay. Now, what this is, is of course, one-to-one -one function is a, of course, a function to start with. Now, what makes it special? Well, write this down. This is special because this is a function whose each output has exactly one input. Doesn't that sound familiar? Wasn't that the definition of function? Yeah, this is the other way around. Careful. Okay, function has, each input has exactly one output. Now, one-to-one -one function is, of course, it has that, right? Each input has exactly one output, otherwise it won't be a function. Yeah. With that, it also has, each output has exactly one input. That's crazy. So what does this mean? Yeah, what does that mean? What does it mean? Okay. So let me give you an example where it's not a one-to-one -one function. Horizontal line is not a one-to-one -one function. <laughs> Well, is horizontal line a function? Yeah. Yes, it is. But it's not a one-to-one -one function. Why not? I want you to discuss with your group. Why not? Using the definition. How come horizontal line is not a one-to-one -one function? So, who can explain to us why horizontal line is not, horizontal line is not a one-to-one um, -one function? Who could explain? A horizontal line is not a function. Madison? Exactly. Each output does not have ex have exactly one input because let's let's go back to this picture here. Do you see this horizontal line? Okay. Now, whoops, don't look at that yet. Okay. You see my horizontal line right here? Look at the other pair. One of them is one two. The other is negative one two. Right. For the output two, how many inputs did it have? One. Well, it has one negative two. Is there only one? 
infinitely but there are infinitely many, right? It's going to be 0, 2, right? Look at every point on this horizontal line. So it, even though this is a function, this is not a special type of function called 1 to 1, is it? Because, right, each output does not have exactly one input. It has infinitely many in this case. Does that make sense? Yeah. So there's a nice test we could do. Horizontal yeah, that's what Leo was saying. For if, if you want to know whether or not function is 1 to 1, you do a horizontal line test, right? Of course, it's going to pass the vertical line test, wouldn't it not? But if you want to see whether or not the function is a one-to-one, -one, you do a horizontal line test, it has to hit the graph only once. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so write that down, I'll wait. So look at this uh, figure here. This represents, the, po the big box represents relation. Within this relation, there's a special relation called function. And within this uh, function, there's a special uh, function called one-to-one -one function, right? Okay, so what is this one-to-one -one function? Can somebody then, we've talked about what is not a one-to-one -one function. So what is a one-to-one function? -one? Can somebody give me some example of one-to-one -one function? Hannah? A vertical, line. a vertical line is not a function even to start with because vertical line, vertical line is, not, is not even a function. Vertical line doesn't pass the vertical line test, does it? So if it's not a function, it can't be one-to-one -one function. Yeah, okay, so, but yes, it does pass horizontal line test, but it's not a function to start with, so you can't use that one. Uh, we said that horizontal line isn't. So, uh, Jocelyn. Yeah, so it turns out every line except horizontal or vertical line is a? Not only any function, it's a one-to-one -one function, isn't it? So, right? Any line, right, that is not a horizontal or vertical is one-to-one -one function, isn't it? Right? So that's pretty straightforward. Okay. Well, is, does it have to be just lines? No, it could be some curves. Let me give you some examples. Here. So go ahead and graph this curve. So let's say we have this curve. First of all, is this a function? How many people say, yes, it's a function, right? How many people say, no, it's not a function? Okay, uh, does this pass the vertical line test? Yeah. Can you draw a vertical line? Can you, is there any place on this graph where if you draw a vertical line, it'll hit it more than once? Maybe. Uh, okay, uh, this part. Okay, fine. Okay, but um, it's, yeah, this is not really vertical. Isn't it? It's kind of slanted. So this is a function. Okay. And it's one to one. And it's one to one. And it's one to one. Why? Because does it pass the horizontal line test? Yeah. yeah, there isn't any place where if you draw a horizontal line, it'll hit the graph more than once. Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this part right here, okay, I can see. But it, it's, not, it, it's not really vertical here, okay? It's kind of slanted. All right, what about then, hopefully without showing you any answer, what about this graph? No. How many say it's a function? Okay, how many say it's not a function? Good, it doesn't pass T. Vertical line test, right? Even though there's a place where where the vertical line will hit it once, doesn't matter, right? There are a whole bunch of other places where it'll hit it more than once. And so if it's not a function, could it be one-to-one -one function? Of course not. Okay, so it's it's not a function, it's not one-to-one. -one. Right. So what about this? Now this is kind of interesting. Do I always have to give it to you as a graph or can I give it to you in this format? Yeah, I could give it to you this way. By the way, is this a relation? In other words, does this represent set of order pairs? Yes, it does. Even though it doesn't look like it. Who could tell me the set of order pairs that this represents? young -woo? what do you think? What are the order pairs that this represents here, this graph? C. Not a graph, this thing here. What do you call this? Um, this relation. Okay, anyway, wh wh what is the set of order pairs that you get? Oh, it says A, B here, and then 1, 2, 3. So does this represent set of order pairs? What are the order pairs that you get? A1, that's one. What else? A2, B3. Does that make sense? So that's another way of showing you a set of order pairs. Okay, so is this a function or not a function? I want you to discuss with your group. Go ahead, everybody think about it. I'll wait. Okay, so how many people say raise your hand if you think it's a function? Okay. How many people say it's not a function? How many people say, I'm not so sure. Okay, is, this is not a function, isn't it? It's not a function, guys. Who can explain to us why? Uh, who have not? How about Hannah over here? Yeah, but 
Yeah, look at which one doesn't have exactly one output. A. A. How many outputs does A have? Two. two. Okay. As you can see, it's kind of nice to see it, right? A has two outputs. It has one and two, right? So it's not a function, of course. If it's not, if it's not a function, of course, it's not going to be one to one, right? All right, then how, what about this one here? Okay. So I want you to discuss with your group whether or not this represents a function or not a function. And if it does represent a function, is it one to one? Well, not a one to one. Go ahead. Everybody think about it. I'll wait. Everybody think about it. How many people say this is a function? Raise your hand. How many say, of course, it's not a function? How many people say it's not a function? Okay, you guys are correct. This is a function, isn't it? Yeah. Why is this not a function? Everything goes to A. Yeah, they still have exactly one output. You could have the same one. By the way, this kind of represents, if you have the same Y, isn't it kind of like a horizontal line? Anyway, so but it, so is this A then one-to-one -one function? No. no. As you can see, how many outputs does the, I mean, how many inputs does the output A have? One. Has. It has three, right? Three outputs, so it's not a one-to-one function. -one. Do you guys understand? Yes. All right, very good. Okay. Let's move on then. So let me explain to you the difference between the function and mapping. Like I said, they're really similar, Jack. Uh, so let me give you a function. Here's a function. Is this a line that is not a horizontal or vertical line? Yeah, this is a function, isn't it? Yeah. As a matter of fact, this is a one-to-one -one function, isn't it? What? Okay, only difference between the function and mapping is, look how many inputs does this function take? in this function notation. It only takes one input, right? Guess what mapping does? It, it takes multiple inputs. That's the only difference. So instead of having one input, mapping will take multiple input. Let's just do the most simplest one, which would have two inputs. So something like this. Instead of having x inside, I'm going to have x comma y. What? Right? No, it's just... Okay, so let me give you here. So, so look. For a function, when I plug in x equals to 1, how many, what do you get as your output? You get a number, don't you? Yeah. Guess what? When you plug in, now this time, is this a number or are you going to plug in an order pair? When you plug in an order pair, guess what you get out as? You get an order pair out. That's the only difference. So when I plug in, uh, so here, here's the mapping rule for this one. So look, all you have to do is 2x. So whatever you plug in for x, you plug in 2x. And when you, whatever you're plugging for y, you get the y coordinate as 3y plus 1. So for example, if I ask you to find the mapping of 1 to a point instead of a number, right? If I ask you to find, oh, what's the mapping of 1 to in this mapping? Well, seven. yeah, you just get to 7. That's the only difference. So it's really easy. That's why, uh, function, that's why I review functions, okay? So to, in order to understand mapping, you need to understand what a function is. Mapping is just nothing more than kind of like a function. Instead of having just one input, you have more than one. Why is it called okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. All, right. All right, so Jonathan, can you read this for us? Yeah. Go ahead. The word mapping is used in geometry and the word function is used in algebra. Our mapping is a correspondence between sets of points. A function is a correspondence between sets of numbers. Yeah. And, oh, wait, this one you don't need. So does that make sense? Do you see what they're saying in this case? So look. Function, right, it's a corresponding between what? Between set of numbers, right? Whereas mapping is correspondence between points. 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 That, between points. Okay, that's what they mean by this. But, right, you get the idea? And we'll do the rest of them next time. But for now, I want you to understand that part. Yeah. Is that okay? Or, okay, very good. So, okay, any question on this for now? Okay, so this is first part. We'll get to the next part next time. Is that okay? Yes. All right, good.